Right now at 6 o'clock, News for Jax is learning more about which individuals knew about what investigators say was a scheme hatched by two former JEA executives to enrich themselves. A key figure from the city's utility took the witness stand today to testify about a proposed bonus plan that the Justice Department contends would have actually paid Aaron Zahn and Ryan Wanamaker tens of millions of dollars. Both men are facing charges of fraud and conspiracy growing out of a failed attempt to privatize JEA. News for Jack's reporter Jim Piggott has been covering this trial from the very start. He is joining us live at the courthouse now with an update on this new testimony. Jim. You know, who we heard today from was Melissa Dyson. She was the chief operating officer. She finished her testimony here at the federal courthouse, well, for the day, but she's going to be called back tomorrow. But what she was basically telling them is that she was surprised that this whole bonus plan was passed by the board. Melissa Dykes testified about the various scenarios that could have led to JEA being privatized or sold. She talked about an off-site meeting that was held with executive staff and outside bankers and consultants at the Orange Park Club Continental. That was in July of 2019, about two weeks before the JEA board voted on that controversial bonus plan that could have paid out millions to Zahn and Wanamaker and other executives, including her. Dykes testified she was very very surprised it passed and thought the board understood what could happen and how much money could be paid out under the bonus plan. She said, quote, I never thought it was going to happen, saying those plans don't have a place in government. She said she was not involved in the development of it, but did have discussions with Zahn and Wanamaker about tying compensation to long-term performance. In cross-examination, Dyke said she didn't think Wanamaker was behind this plan and that she she never heard Wanamaker raise the idea of a long-term incentive plan until Zahn came on board. You know, she had a lot of good words about Wanamaker throughout that cross-examination. You know, board members say, and I talked to many of them this week, that they would not have voted for this bonus plan had they known it had the potential for that high payout. And one of those board members finished up her testimony this morning, and that was April Green. Now, I talked to her, and it was a bit windy, so she's hard to hear. So listen closely to what she said about this whole ordeal. This is just an unfortunate an unfortunate incident that hope that it comes to a resolution soon. And that could take several weeks, as we mentioned, for this trial basically to wrap up. You know, at one point today, too, they did close the courtroom to the media, uh, that surprised me, and to the public as they were running an evidentiary hearing because they were going to talk to a witness about the JEA bonds. That was only for a short time, but we could see that happen again, and we're looking into that. For now, we're live at the federal courthouse. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.